If my calculations are correct, we have now been marooned on our tropical island for almost five months, battling against the forces of Mother Nature, and at times even ourselves. I have been keeping the beacon ready to light at a moment's notice in the event that the dear Lord answers our prayers and we see a sail on the horizon, the sail of a ship to rescue us and return us home to Boston. But we dare not keep the fires burning for fear of attracting pirates or hostile natives. And at times it feels as if in reality there is little or no hope of rescue. <laughs> Emily rarely helps with the chores and is a source of frustration to us all. <laughs> Christina and Billy appear more concerned about the chickens, especially Christina's favorite, Henrietta, who constantly seems to escape from the animal enclosure and runs away into the forest. Henrietta! Henrietta! Chuk, chuk, chuk! Henrietta, come on! It's no good, she ain't down here. My father continues to inspire the entire family, and I doubt if we would have survived any of our adventures without his strong leadership and wise counsel. Especially one particular adventure which started quite unexpectedly when my father was out walking, and noticed something which gave him an idea, which he revealed after summoning us all to the treehouse for a meeting. Oh, Christina Good, where's Emily? She says she doesn't feel well and wants some water. Just who does she think she is? Well, if Emily won't deign to grace us with her presence, so be it. There's something we need to discuss with you. Is this about building a new raft? Indirectly, yes. Your mother and I have talked the matter over, and we both agree that it would be best for all of us if we stay here on the island. Even if we did build a raft, how could we carry enough food and water to keep seven of us alive for who knows how long? And in any case, if people are out searching for us, we may stand a better chance of being discovered if we stay right here. But there are other islands. Some of them could be inhabited. Yes, and by whom? Cannibals, perhaps? Have you thought of that? I'm sorry, Ernst. Someday, we may be rescued. But until that time comes, we have to make the best of what we have here. And that's not so bad, is it? We have all the necessities of life and some measure of security, which is more than many settlers have when they travel west back home. But they don't have pirates, do they? Or natives. They do have outlaws and Indians. That's right. And they need to protect themselves against attack, which is what we are going to do by building a fort on the top of the hill. Papa, how much further? We're almost there. Keep going. Any pirate climbing up here would be Exhausted by the time he got to the top. Well, that's the idea, my dear. Oh. Now then, what do you think? Ernst? I thought we'd build a stockade over there with a fence, and then perhaps a small shelter where we can get out of the rain and the sun. We could dig some traps on the outside of the fence over here. Good idea. And logs. We could get a big pile of logs up the top of the slope so they can roll down on anybody trying to get up. Excellent. And of course, the views are perfect. David, Ernst, look, over there. It's a native canoe coming this way. Joanna, go back to the house and fetch everyone, but also bring back the musket and as much food and water as you can carry. Yes, Father. What are you doing here? What are you doing? Come on, get out. No, please don't make a noise. I have a headache. <sighs> well, you'll have a bigger one when you find out what we've got to tell you. Funeral ceremony. It looks like they're going to lay him to rest in the sacred cave. Oh, 
Hoe hoe ta hiki e. Hai arongo mai hoki tato wite po taura manda wa toki to. Tu katiko oto. Joanna, here. Give us a hand. Where are the others? They're coming slowly. Emily gets an attack of the vapors when she's asked to carry it. <laughs> Joanna, you really shouldn't talk about poor Emily like that. Poor Emily. Look. Must be their medicine man. I'd like to get on his bad side. We shouldn't be here just now. There's something strange. I know what you mean. Do you feel it too? Let's get back. Father and I decided not to tell other members of the family about the strange and ominous presence we felt at the entrance of the cave. There was no point in worrying them unduly. The danger, or so we thought, had passed, and we settled back into our routine, gathering materials to build our stronghold up at the lookout point. No one could have ever imagined how often we would use it as a form of refuge. For the moment, we were all heartened to see the framework almost complete. Get out of there, Bruno. Come on. Come on. Even Bruno helped. And much to everyone's surprise, Emily worked. Though we were sure her endeavors were in no way altruistic and more out of concern for her own survival. As the last remaining wall and the door were fixed firmly in place, I wondered how long we would remain as castaways. And though I was unaware of the irony at the time, if we would ever see another human being again. If we ever get off this island, I'm never eating another banana or coconut. Not ever. I know, but while we're here, we should be grateful for what we can get. Put them in the bowl over there, would you? Oh! Oh, stupid dress. <sighs> well, I'll do my best to mend it. Though goodness knows it's getting harder and harder to mend anything these days. What we need is some means of making our own cloth. Mama! I found Henrietta! Good. Now we'll have something else to eat. Oh, you beast! Don't listen to her, Henrietta. What's so special about a bunch of leaves? Don't you know what plant they're from? Of course I don't. 
flags. And you know what they make from flags, don't you? Oh, yes, Lynn. My goodness, Elizabeth, that's brilliant. I know that. But how will we spin it without a wheel? Well, the same way that people did it for thousands of years before the spinning wheel was invented, with a distaff and spindle. Of course. And once we have the thread, I'm sure we could devise some sort of a hand loom to weave it on. What are you doing? We are going to make our own linen cloth. Really? Why? When you're close, stupid. Everybody! Everybody, listen! Whoa, Billy, what is it? I just seen a mermaid. <laughs> She was down there, in the sea. Well, there's nothing there now. She swam away. Sure she did, Billy. And what was she doing, combing her hair, singing a siren song? <laughs> Ernst, please. Well, I don't see anything, just a few bits of driftwood. May I take a look? Driftwood can't come in handy. Not getting any more raft building ideas, are you, Ernst? No, no. The following morning, I decided to investigate the cove and Billy's tales of a mermaid while everyone else was still asleep. Or at least I thought they were asleep. But Billy was just as intrigued, as was Christina. And while Billy followed me, Christina followed Billy in the search for the mermaid. The entire notion was absurd. But when I first noticed Moya, she did indeed appear to come from the sea. Whoever she was, she was certainly not a mermaid, but one of the most beautiful creatures I had ever seen. Friend, don't be afraid. I'm a friend. Who? My name is uh, Ernst. I don't mean you any harm. No. Go, go. I shouldn't be here in this place. But... Please, go. Uh, should I wait outside? Christina hasn't even fed or watered the animals yet. The chickens are still in their pen. Papa! Papa! Help! Christina, what is it? Natives, you must 
Steady, steady, sit here. Take a deep breath. That's better. Now tell me what happened. It's Ernst. He went into the cave. What cave? The natives' cave. The burial chamber. And they've come back. The natives? Yes, and they've got Ernst. I'll go. Get everyone up to the fort. They'll kill us all. I know they will. Might have to keep your head about you and do as you're told, all of you. Where's Billy? He's still on the cliff watching them. Papa, I'll come too. No, Joanna, you stay with your mother. You too, Christina. Take the muskets. What about you? I've got the pistols. Pray God I won't have to use them. Heard him. Who's the girl? I don't know. She didn't come with the others. What are we going to do? I don't know. We could never stand against all of them. They'd kill her and stand the girl the moment they saw us coming. The problem is there's no way down without being seen. Yes, there is. The tunnel. Of course. I can get to the mouth of the cave from the inside. Bless you, Billy. Let's go then. I'll go. I want you to stay here, and I want you to look out for me. I'll take this gun and shoot when you hear me call out. I'll never get them from up here. That doesn't matter. You'll distract them while I go for Ernst. Can you do that? Yes. Good lad. Christina, why don't you put Henrietta in the shelter? It can't be good for her being hugged all the time, and I'm sure she'll be safe in there. She likes being hugged. Oh, very well. Can you see anything? No, Mama. Nothing. Harm. If I've offended your gods, I'm sorry. But please just let us both go. Permission to stay here. Your king, do you understand? Ha! Ah! 
You're safe. Yes, thanks to Father. You wouldn't believe what he did. Where is he? I'm here. What on earth? It's Finny's mermaid. Is she hurt? No, she's been drugged. They gave her some kind of potion. It's a girl. She's a savage. Emily? She is wearing no clothes. She needs our help. Joanna, get me something to put under her head. Christina, get me some hot water and a cloth, quickly. Yes, Mama. Ernst, stop staring. Come on, Ernst. We'll let the women take care of her now. Uh, right. Billy, you too. <laughs> 